It's been called a turning point for the planet and the beginning of the end of coal. President Xi Jinping has said China will stop funding coal-fired power plants abroad. He made the announcement in a pre-recorded message to the UN General Assembly in New York. China will strive to peak carbon dioxide emissions before 2030 and achieve carbon neutrality before 2060. This requires tremendous hard work, and we will make every effort to meet these goals. China will step up support for other developing countries in developing green and low-carbon energy and will not build new coal-fired power projects abroad. Beijing is the only significant funder of overseas coal left in the world. It finances some 13 percent of coal-fired capacity outside of China. Now, among the countries in Asia receiving funding are Indonesia, Vietnam, Pakistan, India and Bangladesh. Bhaifat Tsang is a senior policy advisor at the European climate think tank E3G and joins me now from London. Bhaifat, how significant is this announcement for reducing global emissions? Yeah, it's indeed a very significant uh, announcement and it's a step forward uh, in China's climate policy. And it shows that, uh, yet again, the ties are turning against coal power uh, internationally. So at the beginning of the year, we saw that China, South Korea and Japan were still major financier of coal power projects uh, abroad and internationally. And over the course of the year, we saw the dominoes fell one by one with Japan and South Korea pledging that they will no longer use public money to finance coal power plants overseas. And China has obviously made the same announcement uh, last night. Um, and now China joins the ranks of these major financiers to commit to an end to coal, uh, which created a great momentum for uh, the Glasgow Climate Summit in coming November. So the significance about this announcement is that um, it will dry up coal finance uh, internationally because a lot of the projects, uh, for example, in Southeast Asia, um, is being funded by uh, Chinese capital. And a lot of time, this capital is being used to unlock the risk of these projects, which will then bring in more, more private investors uh, into these projects. So um, with this announcement, uh, we uh, will be seeing an end to a lot of projects uh, in 20 countries, right. which add, adds up to about like 40 gigawatts of coal power, which is the equivalent to the size of the uh, coal power fleet in the entire of Germany. So this is how significant this is. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a pretty big uh, impact this is going to have. But then speaking about those Southeast Asian countries, particularly countries like Indonesia and Vietnam, for example, uh, where coal-fired power plants were being financed by the Chinese, what does this lack of Chinese financing now mean for these countries? Yeah, so I mean, like I said, because a lot of times Chinese capital, uh, especially public money, is used to unlock uh, risks for this investment, which would then pave way to uh, other private investments. So now, without that, those a lot of projects would, would not take off. Uh, but what is also significant about Chinese announcement yesterday is also the fact that uh, Mr. Xi has pledged he will step up financing for. Uh, uh, other forms of uh, energy, renewable energy, green energy, such as solar and wind. So, so obviously, China will also be playing a role in the power sector in these countries. Uh, and the other thing we should note is that the economics uh, is turning against coal. I mean, coal is becoming very unprofitable in a lot of countries. Uh, so the economics is also changing. So even with Chinese finance, um, the economic, the, is changing and we will see a reduction of coal in these countries anyway. And also these countries, including Indonesia, Vietnam and also Bangladesh, they right. have signaled in the last year that they're going to phase out uh, their coal power in one way or another. So, I mean, the demand from these countries also waning and then the support for uh, renewable power in this country will be increasing and hopefully from Chinese uh, financiers as well. We'll leave it there for the time being, but thank you so much for that description. Bye for Tsang from London.